Hello students, today we're going to work with our foil and we're going to emboss and deboss. This takes preparing your work surface and right now I have some foam sheets. We might use a different material on a different day. We do not want to draw or mark or snip or test the foam sheets in any way. We're going to want to use them later for other things. So you just lay it down at the bottom of your sandwich, then the foil, then your design. So it goes foam, foil, design. You are going to need to tape, secure your design to the foil. This way, while you are transferring your design to the foil, it does not slip around and make a weird picture. Once your tape is very secure, you may use any blunt writing utensil, like a pen, a ballpoint pen, like a blunt, not sharp pencil, and slowly but firmly press and draw over each and every line. You can do one initial check to see that your design is transferring. You don't wanna press so hard that your paper punctures or that the foil punctures, but you do need to press firmly. I have sped this up, but it is a very enjoyable process and you have the whole class period, so you might as well go slowly and really enjoy this time. This is a very enjoyable thing. There is no need to rush as you go over each and every line. For big shapes, you're gonna leave those empty so that you can decide, do you want those to be embossed, coming out towards the viewer, or debossed, going away from the viewer? When you press down with a pencil on your design like this, you are debossing. You are creating a little divot or a little deep line. That's debossing. When we do the next step, that's going to be our embossing time. So take a look at your art and decide, is it interesting enough? Do I want to add more? I decided that my my flames coming out of the sun were a little bit bland and had big plain spaces. I want to go ahead and deboss some more. So I added to my design during this time. Now I like it a lot more and I'm going to flip it open. Look at that blunt rounded paintbrush end. I am now going to emboss. That means pressing from the back. This is actually stretching the foil, the metal. So you have to be careful not to puncture through. You're just slowly forming it forward down onto your foil, rubbing in circular motions between your embossed lines so that things like a forehead, a nose, a lip, or a chin, those things that poke out on our own faces, will poke out on your solar face. There might be some other little components of your design that because it is an enclosed rounded shape, you want to emboss as well. Ooh, I'm liking that. Always check your other side. Make sure you're not stretching the metal too much. If you stretch the metal too much, it'll poke out or it might even lose some of its color. So you're pressing firmly, but just be careful not to press too firm. We are taking our time on this today so you can look at your work, check its progress as you go, and, and make choices about, you know, I want the cheeks to come out the furthest. I want the chin to come out the furthest, but I'm only going to make maybe these lines or these areas come out a little bit. At the end of class, you are going to have a sort of sculptural, beautiful piece. Enjoy.